Hi everybody, it's Michelle. Today is Thursday, July 7th, 2016, and welcome. I'm not going to talk about deals right now. I'm going to post those later, but I wanted to talk to you all to kind of give you um, kind of a little bit of background with me right now because I've gotten some feedback on my stockpile sales and stuff like that. Let me try to explain some things. Um, back when we, when the economy was going downhill, um, my husband basically uh, had a job that he worked for many years, and they basically downsized. People were being let go, and he was pretty much like one of the last ones there, and the the boss was making it more and more difficult for him and everything. I mean, he was coming home so stressed out and um, just not doing well, and it really bothered him. So it got to a point where, you know, I have a good job, and basically, um, you know, I said, you know, maybe because he's made, he was making it difficult that maybe he should leave. Unfortunately, we knew that he wouldn't be able to really get much unemployment because he'd be leaving on his own terms. And let me tell you, the boss was making it very difficult. Um, he was he cut his hours down to almost 15 hours a week, and it was just a game because the, the boss didn't want to pay the unemployment. So needless to say, my husband took on some jobs, you know, here and there, and um, and then finally, um, because from a long time ago, he had a, um, a CDL license, and so he started driving a uh, school bus again, or, or, you know, the big, he used to drive big trucks, but he was gonna buy, drive a, a school bus. So um, he did that for a couple years, and uh, it was strenuous because um, I have my job, and then I was, taking care of elderly on the side um, because we had taken care of one in our home for about two and a half years until he passed on and then I made a choice that you know this was something I was good at you know helping people so um, I got into that and so that kind of that worked out okay but it was still kind of stressful for him because he didn't have like a regular schedule like everybody else he would have to do like a morning run and then an afternoon run and it just got to be a bit much. Needless to say, um, it, it was like a godsend that he got this job out of nowhere. Um, it fell right into his lap. He, you know, got a call and we knew that, you know, we knew that it was from God. And I know some people don't believe in this, but um, this is the God's honest truth. It basically fell out of the sky. It was a very good, good job um, for our state, what he does. So he's making good money again, and he's got the benefits, and kind of like the dream job you never thought possible. Well, God gave it to him. So that's that's been good, you know, and I had my job. And just so you know, um, I work for the government. Um, I've worked for the government for almost, this is my 15th year, and um, through all these changes, it was like God was telling me, kind of sneaking little hints in, it was funny because the, um, I started watching other people coupon, and then it just became this thing where, this is interesting, you know, this is, I'm learning something that I never knew. I mean, I was shopping at Costco, spending hundreds of dollars, you know, trying to make ends meet, make sure everything was dealt with. And it seemed like every time I went to Costco, I was spending like $300. I'm like, I told my husband, I said, this is crazy. I mean, we even cut out our cable bill. Uh, we, we got rid of cable for like three years because I think we were paying like $125, somewhere around there. And I said to my husband, I don't care. Let's just, we had the old VHS tapes. We got, you know, we had a lot of kids movies and stuff. We could care less, you know, <laughs> um, but we did. We cut back on things, um, and then I learned the couponing, and that's why you've you've seen a quick video of my some of some of my stockpile, and it gets it gets crazy. Like that wasn't even organized yet, um, but 
it really helped us tremendously. Um, my son was pl is playing hockey, so I remember back when there was a Powerade sale, my whole, one whole wall was full of Powerade. And I'll tell you, when you got kids who are athletic, they drink it. <laughs> um, my, his friends were taking pictures of it, and they were like, wow. And believe it or not, it lasted us a while, and he used it. He, he drank so much of it. Um, so, you know, couponing has become one of those, it's not an art, but it's something that has tremendously changed our lives. You know, I walk into a store and if I don't have a coupon, I cringe. It's like, are you kidding? I would never pay that because I know I would get that for cheaper. I would never, ever, ever. You know, and there are times, like my local store, uh, we have Hannaford here next near me. And um, they'll take coupons, but they don't double. And they always give you a hard time. I think I used four coupons one time. And I mean, they looked at it and thought I was, you know, like I was doing something wrong. And I, I was like, I can't stand it here. I mean, well, I, go to, I go out of my area to these other, like, Price Chopper we have and Shaw's. I go to them and I can, you know, shop and not have problems with my coupons. And so I tend to go there instead. Um, so I don't really try to go to my local one unless I really have to. Um, so, but couponing has really changed uh, things for us. So I wanted to let you know. And then on top of that, I want you to know just recently um, my my life is changing again. Basically, my job at the government, um, I'm getting laid off. I was told about a month ago and they gave us a tentative date and until today I learned the final date. And for working with a company for like 15 years and then have your like VP come up to you and kind of say, oh, here you go. Here's your package and this is the date. And if you have any questions, come come see me in my office. It wasn't even he pulled me into a, an office and said, hey, Michelle, is there anything I can do? Blah, 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 blah. None of it. It was like I was just another body. No personalization, no nothing. And it tore at me. And so couponing has kind of kept me busy. So, but I I got some comments today, and I won't name names, because I want them to know that I do care. I I take everything you guys tell me, you know, to heart. I think we're all on this planet to help each other, and that's what we need to do: is stick together and help each other. Because, I mean, look at the news; it's depressing. Um, me having a government job just shows you what the government does. Um, they don't care. They, you know, it's the same thing. It's garbage. Um, it, it just, it didn't help the situation. And here we going, you know, we're getting better. My husband got a great job and, you know, we have all these benefits again and boom. Guess what? Me this time. So here's the funny thing. So I learned my fate, you know, and uh, I have a good separation package. Don't get me wrong. It'll get me, it's, it's going to give me um, uh, quite a few months, you know, six or seven months. And um, so, which is, is, is nice, uh, you know, and I've, uh, I'll still have my insurance for about nine months, I think. But I think we'll go to my husband's because he's got good insurance. So thank God for that. Um, but it's still hard. You know, I've never been laid off before. My, I've been hired out of, basically I was hired out of uh, tech school um, from day one. I've worked for banks and, and um, credit unions and now the government. And so to me, it's like, I know I'm worth something, but here, after dealing with things and this point in my life, I have discovered YouTube and trying to help people, whether it's couponing or um, 
uh, what I call ministering. Um, I am a Christian. I believe in God. I believe that we are all here for his purpose. Um, but yet, you know, I know people, and don't get me wrong if you don't believe because I'm not holding that against you at all. But that's who I am. That's who I was brought up to be. And people say I always have a good heart and I wear it on my sleeve. And that's probably true. You know, sometimes I'm too nice. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So couponing has become this thing for me. And so I thought, oh, you know, I wonder about that YouTube thing. I wonder if that would help, you know, um, to help others, uh, you know, coupon. Because I want you to save money and do exactly what I did. Um, I think that's important for other people to know that you don't have to go in and pay, what is it, $10 for a thing of Tide. You can go and spend maybe, a, what, this week, $1.94 after you get your extra care bucks. You know, use your money somewhere else. And I know I from talking to some of the people that, you know, have lost loved ones, um, you, you might be going through the same sort of thing or you don't know where you're going. But I think couponing could help so it releases more money to put somewhere else that you might need like your bills I know insurance is awful um, that was one thing with my government job we had really good insurance so that's going to be a bit of a change but with my husband's job he doesn't work for government but his is just about as good so I'm I'm pleased with that you know, but yeah, I just had to take my daughter to the dentist because I knew this was all happening because she's got to have her braces done. So I was like, you know, I got to get this done. I got to get this done before that time frame. And it's awful, but that's the way they work things. So anyway, I know we all struggle. I know we all go through these things of life. And I want you to know I care about you. I care about what happens to you. I am just that way. If you need help, call me, message me. I don't care. <laughs> come, come visit. I don't care. I just want you to know that I'm doing this to help you also. You're helping me, you know, do something I do enjoy. And I'm hoping that, that maybe this will become maybe my work. Um, that this might be something I can do that becomes part of my life. And I've enjoyed doing it, and I'm, I know I'm still a newbie at it, but I, I, I think that this could be something. We could be a family of couponers or whatever. I want, I want you to also know I, I'm going to start another channel, and I'm going to call it God Seekers. And it's a channel where I want people to know that God is around and God cares about you. And I'm not going to get into it because I don't want you to feel like you have to do this. But if you want, you know, join that one. I'm, I, I pray. I, you know, I do help try to help people. I do try to, um, you know, maybe just talk and if that helps anything. But also know that God has always protected us all the time. I know it sounds crazy, but with everything we've had happen, I know my life wouldn't be where it is without him. And I'll get into more if you want to know about that on my God Seeker channel. But if you're, you know, having a rough day or you even have a loved one who needs prayer, I do that. I'll pray for them. I'm going to stand in the gap. But just know that we, we do all go through things, struggles in life. You know, you might be really sick and you're down and out and you need somebody to talk to. I want to be that person. I love that. I, I want to be accountable for that. I want, to, I want to pray for you. I want to help in any which way. And if couponing is the start, yay! <laughs> so, you know, as bad as it right now, it, it might look to some people, oh, you're losing your job and I'm not worried about it. I know that sounds really crazy, but I get that feeling like I'm, I know God's got something bigger. And that's, and that's the way my family um, just knows. We just know because, like I said, if you want to know more, I'll put it on that channel. But anyway, 
I want you to, you know, if you feel like that, go to that channel. <laughs> no pressure. So, but I thank you for joining this channel. And I do, I want you all to be successful at your couponing. And I want you to save money because you know what? You can spend it somewhere else where it's needed. And, you know, um, it will definitely help. And I'm willing to help. That's what I'm here for. That's why God put me here. <laughs> so, um, so don't get discouraged. One day at a time, right? One day at a time. Um, and do, do one deal at a time. If that helps you, do one deal and that's that. And then the next day, say, okay. You know, like CVS, they give you your extra care bucks. Take that extra care bucks. Go Tuesday. You know, do that Monday. Go Tuesday and do the next deal. If that's the way you have to just start, just do that. But spend your money somewhere else. Because you know what? It's foolish when I see people spend so much money on groceries when I know that I don't have to pay that. So I hope you kind of enjoy this video. It's kind of a little bummer, but not. But I want you to know that even though with my struggles, I know that I know something is coming, something better. And I believe that. And we all, even when we go through certain things in life, we don't understand or we, we lose a loved one. It's not easy. But when we all come together and can just, you know, be a family and work with each other, I mean, we're all doing the same thing. No one's better than the other, you know. We make a difference not only in our own lives, but with people around us. So, yeah, I'll end on that. <laughs> well, I hope you liked it. I'm sorry if this wasn't your couponing video, but I'll get those out too. But um, thank you for subscribing. I, I really do appreciate it, and I hope we do become this kind of family where we can just you know, talk about the deals and stuff or whatever you want to talk about. I don't care. Um, so, yeah. Well, I hope you all have a great night. And I'll get the CDS deals out and the Rite Aid deals out for you. And um, really, just thank you. And um, if you do need help, just message me. I'll be there. All right. Well, have a great night. And I love you all. God, uh, God bless. And uh, don't stress out. Trust them. All right. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.